Hey folks, it's Rick. So yeah, we, welcome to Tele Taco Tuesday number 10. This is this is fantastic. This is um I need some stuff to do in these Tele Taco Tuesdays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a couple of my favorite tele artists. That'll be the first thing I do. I might do other stuff too. Um, thinking about, you know, a jazz arrangement coming up, uh, you know, with multiple telecasters. Who knows? Um, whatever else strikes my fancy. Uh, right now I have this road-worn telecaster I'm playing. Um, I've been kicking around the idea of buying some Freyland pickups for it. Because I like it to sound like a telecaster, authentic. But I want to wonder if I can get a little bit more um, a little more juice out of it maybe just a little bit anyway uh, so I am playing through my deluxe reverb today with the new Weber speaker in it that's great sounds fantastic I love it and I am playing through SP compressor as always and I pulled out my old full drive too which is old it's from 1997 it's signed in pen by Mike Fuller. Um, maybe they all are. I don't think so. I think I saw a newer one that was just printed with his signature. EP Booster. Hoff Mini. I don't have any delay on. I don't think I need it. It sounds great. Okay, anyhow. So, um... Yeah, we've got a jam track from the very talented folks at Elevated Jam Tracks. Maybe it's just one dude. Maybe it's maybe it's a girl. Maybe it's folks. I don't know who it is, but they make really good jam tracks. So go and check them out. Um, and you can have fun jamming along with their stuff. And I am, uh, again, I'm uh, jamming along with them today. I forget what was the name of it. It had some kind of a weird name, that track. Uh succulent groove or something in f minor whatever it sounds like steely dan to me it sounds like uh josie but slower josie so. Here's another thing I want to talk about is uh, I wanted to you know do sort of an artist spotlight because I've seen other people do this and I like it and there are some artists that I like that some people haven't really heard of and so since it's Tele Taco Tuesday I'm going to talk about um, this guy that I really like his name is Jim Campolongo uh, if you've never seen Jim Campolongo you really ought to check him out so he plays a couple of different well he plays one style really but he's um He's capable of different things. So he's capable of the chicken picking thing. He's, he's, he's very good at it. Um, and he's capable of jazz as well. He can play jazz. But he can play crazy rock stuff. It's almost like um, uh, Jerry Reed. You know, it's almost like he meets Jeff Beck or so Jim is really good Jim um, the first place I ever heard Jim is that he's the guitar player the lead the telecaster player for uh, the Little Willies but um jim campolongo is the guitar player and that's where i heard him because i was a Nora jones fan and i wanted to hear this sort of country band that she had really what it is is a band that started they were doing covers of willie nelson songs their first album is great it's just self-titled little willies the second one's called for the good times so yeah the little willies are fantastic and jim campolongo is the player for them 
Um, and he would play really, really neat stuff, you know, like he would just do like pinch harmonics where he'd be going. Just in funny places, but pulled off really, really well. He does things like instead of playing a C chord here, here I'm behind the microphone. I'm oh, sorry. Instead of just playing this little C chord, see it down here. He might play it like this and bend up that back string. I can't really do it that well. He would do things like that, or this, um, like an E. So he does neat stuff like that. And then he can also do, you know, like the real fast chicken picking like I can't do. Um, and he plays great blues. Uh, and he's really good in the Little Willies, but all, but his, his solo albums are fantastic. Uh, he's the lead guitar player for a band called the Ten Gallon Cats, uh, which is a great name, the Ten Gallon Cats. It's Jim Campolongo and the Ten Gallon Cats. And then um, he also does a bunch of solo records. Uh, he lives in Brooklyn, and he plays... Um, every Monday or Tuesday night in Brooklyn. So that's kind of what he does. He just has these, uh, these nights where he jams in Brooklyn. If you look at, look for him on, uh, YouTube, you can find, um, like tutorial videos. You can find him talking about his Princeton. He plays Princeton reverbs and an old Telecaster with a top loading bridge. Just a great player. And he's a funny dude and he seems really nice. I actually sent him an email once and he got right back to me, you know, saying thanks for listening and all kinds of great stuff. So, um, yeah, check out Jim Campolongo. Yeah, I hope you enjoy my playing. I hope you enjoy the backing track, uh, elevated jam tracks. I'll put them in the description. And check out Jim Campolongo also. So, um, okay, everybody. Happy Telly Taco Tuesday. I hope you got your tel uh, your tacos. And I hope you have a telly to play. If you don't, well, I'll just play whatever is closest. Um. <laughs> I got that right. Tell me if I got that right, Nick. All right, later on.